This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture so you should select Answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, Part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked Number 1 in your test book. A. Cyclists are riding by a fountain. B. There's a park bench beside a path. C. A man is hanging a map on a sign. D. Workers are raking leaves into piles. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. She's drinking water from a glass. B. She's removing papers from a file. C. Potted plants are arranged on a desk. D. Some pictures have been hung next to a window. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The man is paying for his dinner. B. A server is taking food out of a container. C. Some windows are being cleaned. D. Some food is on display. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. A building is under construction. B. A street is being paved. C. Some cars are stopped at a traffic light. D. Some cars are parked side by side. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. Some equipment is being put in a crate. B. Some cords are lying across the top of a counter. C. A man is plugging a computer into a power outlet. D. A man is sliding a box under a workstation. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A stairway is divided by a handrail. B. A woman is leaning against a column. C. The people are walking up a staircase. D. Some photographs are being removed from a wall. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. 
Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Who is your immediate supervisor? A. Okay, I'll go now. B. It's Ms. Tanaka. C. Instructions for the project. Number eight. Aren't you attending the manager's training session? A. No, it was cancelled. B. The train arrives at noon. C. My manager. Number nine. When will you finish editing the final draft of my article? A. Yes, I think so. B. At the publishers. C. By Friday evening. Number ten. Are you still receiving an error message on your computer screen? A. A used monitor. B. Yes. Do you know why? C. I've returned mine. Number eleven. Will the seminar be a full day or a half day? A. I haven't received the schedule yet. B. The third door on the left. C. Why was it moved? Number twelve. Where's the nearest currency exchange office? A. Not currently. B. Right next to the mall. C. Would you like a receipt? Number thirteen. Which file cabinet did you reorganize? A. Sure, I can send it to you. B. In numerical order. C. The one by the window. Number fourteen. How late shall we schedule the interviews tomorrow? A. Well, my flight leaves at three o'clock. B. For the office assistant position. C. Yes, the view at night is beautiful. Number fifteen. Isn't the supermarket closed on Sundays? A. No, it's open every day. B. I live close by. C. From the top shelf. Number sixteen. Who was at the press conference? A. Ricardo has the attendance sheet. B. Only once a quarter. C. A new product release. Number seventeen. Why are we moving the camera display? A. They like taking pictures. B. Near the main entrance. C. Doesn't it look better here? Number eighteen. Let's look at some colors to paint the hotel lobby. A. A larger painting crew. B. Sure, I'm free after lunch. C. The front desk. Number nineteen. The food here isn't usually this salty. A. The lunch special includes soup. B. It's not very crowded. C. I wonder if there's a new chef. Number twenty. Shouldn't we take a staff poll next week? A. We need a decision before then. B. It already has. C. A revised work schedule. Number twenty-one. Would you like a room on the first floor or one of the upper floors? A. It's just around the corner. B. I like the floor plan. C. Either one is fine.
Number 22. Don't forget to post this notice on the bulletin board. A. The post office in the city. B. Don't worry, I won't. C. I noticed that too. Number 23. There were more people at the trade show this year, weren't there? A. An additional session. B. No, I won't be able to come. C. Yes, it was a big success. Number 24. I think the longer coat would be more practical. A. The men's section is upstairs. B. Then that's the one I'll buy. C. No, I can't wait any longer. Number 25. Do we need a standard sized window or a custom made one? A. Yes, only for a small fee. B. Here are the measurements. C. Carlos said he would. Number 26. How did you decide where to go on holiday? A. I researched places on the internet. B. Usually by bus. C. No, we're flying there. Number 27. Why hasn't this order been filled yet? A. It'll be ready to ship this afternoon. B. Yes, it is a large box. C. Thanks, but that's enough. Number 28. We still need to put price labels on the new books. A. The lines are really long. B. The table costs $60. C. Let me go and get them. Number 29. You should present your research data at the next department meeting. A. No, I didn't. B. I'd be happy to. C. In the database. Number 30. It's time for a break, isn't it? A. Well, they're too fragile to ship. B. Some afternoon appointments. C.、Uh, let's finish up this proposal. Number 31. Have you ever had the opportunity to travel to Singapore? A. That's where I was born. B. Some travel receipts are missing from the folder. C. Yes, I'll have a little more. Thanks. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Neil Chen. I just made an online reservation at your hotel, but when I saw the confirmation page, I realized that I'd made a mistake in the dates. Can I make a change? I'll be happy to change your reservation, provided we have a room available. Could you please give me your confirmation code? Sure, it's VF732. I want the reservation for the following weekend. January 10th through 12th. Will the price be the same? Let me see. Yes, we do have a room available for that weekend at the same rate. So I've changed your booking with us. You can expect an updated confirmation in your email shortly. Number 32. Where does the woman most likely work? Number 33. Why is the man calling?
Number 34. What will the woman email the man? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Mr. Lin. We have a package for you to pick up here at the Morseville Post Office. You should have received a missed delivery card when we tried to deliver it a week ago. I'm looking through my mail now, and I can't find any notice about a missed delivery. I just got back from vacation. Oh, I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Just be sure to bring along some form of photo identification when you come to pick your package up. Number 35. Who most likely is the woman? Number 36. What does the man say he cannot find? Number 37. What does the woman ask the man to bring with him? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I saw the flyer posted in the window of your gallery advertising art classes. I wondered if I could sign up for the watercolor painting class on Tuesday evening. Sorry, but the classroom is too small to accommodate more than a few people, and that class is already full. Oh, that's disappointing. Is there any chance you'll offer a second class? Yes, we're thinking about holding one on Wednesday night also. Would you like me to put your name down on the waiting list? Number 38. What does the woman want to do at the art gallery? Number 39. What problem does the man mention? Number 40. What does the man offer to do for the woman? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Ms. Miller. It's Hector Diaz calling from Jackson Real Estate. An apartment has just been listed that I think you might be interested in. It's a one-bedroom place that's available immediately, but best of all, it's near Fulbright Park. Near Fulbright Park? Oh, that's wonderful news. The park is very close to my office. That's exactly what I'd hoped for. Would you like to look at the apartment? We can get in to see it sometime tomorrow if you're free. I'm busy in the morning, but the afternoon would be fine. Let me write down where it is, and I can meet you there. Number 41. What type of business does the man work for? Number 42. Why is the woman pleased? Number 43. What does the woman plan to do tomorrow afternoon? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Kim, I finished setting up the table, so it looks like we're all ready to open the cafe at 8 o'clock. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Yes. Someone from the city maintenance department called yesterday and told me that a crew will be repairing the pavement right outside the cafe today. I'm worried that customers won't know we're open and we can't afford to lose the business. Well, why don't I put a sign out front that tells customers we're open and that they can come in through the side entrance? Number 44. What does the woman say will happen today? Number 45. What is the woman worried about? Number 
Number 46. What does the man offer to do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Thank you for taking me to that wonderful concert. It was a nice way to celebrate the merger of our companies. We knew you'd enjoy it. That string quartet performs all over the world. I'm not surprised. So, my flight doesn't leave until noon. Should I come by your office in the morning to finish up the paperwork? Oh, Ms. Yamada is handling that. Yes, I am. I'll be in the office by 8 in the morning, so you can stop by any time after that. There are only a few final documents to sign. Number 47. What are the speakers celebrating? Number 48. What does the man imply when he says, That string quartet performs all over the world. Number 49. What do the women agree to do in the morning? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I don't know how I'm going to get through all the resumes that were submitted for the accountant positions we advertised. We received several hundred applications for three positions. That is a lot of applications. I can help you review some of them. Why don't I take half of them? That would be great. I don't have hard copies of them, though. The files are all saved on my computer. OK. Do you think you can print the ones you want me to work on? I prefer to read through them on paper. Number 50. What are the speakers trying to do? Number 51. What does the man suggest? Number 52. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Rita. Thanks for taking a look at my car to see if it needs any work. I'd like to list it for sale by the end of the week because I need to buy a larger car. Well, I think buyers will really like the car because the exterior has been well-maintained. However, I can see a few holes in the cloth on the front seat. I'd certainly recommend having that repaired. Okay. Do you know if it'll cost a lot to have new fabric put on the seat? I have a friend who does that kind of work, and he's very affordable. I'll look for his card so you can call him for an estimate. Number 53. Why is the man selling his car? Number 54. According to the woman, why will buyers like the car? Number 55. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling from Burke Country Tours. We're interested in having some T-shirts made for our customers, and I saw your advertisement in the newspaper. Could you give me some information about your quantities and prices? Certainly. Shirts are $8 each, but if you order a lot of them, that is more than 50, you'll get a 15% discount off of the total price. That price seems reasonable. So, we'd like to get our company logo printed on the shirts. Is that hard to do? No, it's actually really easy. Just go to our website, upload the image of your logo, and then place your order. Number 56. What does the man want to purchase? Number 57. 
Number 57. How can the man receive a discount? Number 58. What does the woman tell the man to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Sorry to bother you, but I'm wondering if either of you remember someone named James Pullman? He worked here at the newspaper a few months ago. That name doesn't sound familiar. Why? Someone from Colby Media called today. James applied for a job there, and he listed our newspaper agency as his last place of employment. They asked for a recommendation, but... I never actually worked with him. James Pullman? I remember James. He was one of our staff photographers for about a year. He was very talented. Well, would you mind providing the recommendation then? Sure, I'd be happy to. But I wish he had contacted one of us directly. That's the usual procedure. Number 59. Where do the speakers work? Number 60. Why did Colby Media contact the speaker's workplace? Number 61. What does the woman imply when she says, I never actually worked with him? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and menu. Excuse me, are you ready to order lunch or are you waiting for someone else to arrive? Oh, I'm ready to order. I'm eating alone. I'm preparing for a meeting this afternoon and I need somewhere quiet to work. Of course. What would you like? I'm interested in the daily special. Can you tell me what it is? Today it's a small cheese pizza and a beverage. Oh, I think that's what I'll get. And by the way, since I'll be working on my laptop here, can I have the password for the restaurant's wireless internet? Sure. It's on the back of the menu. Number 62. Why does the woman say she is at the restaurant? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much will the woman pay for her menu item? Number 64. What does the man say is on the back of the menu? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and magazine cover. Let's talk about November's cover. This month's issue is about trends in smartphone technology, and we've selected our cover photo for that. Now, which story should be mentioned on the cover? Reiko is working on a story about teaching people how to develop their own applications for smartphones. Oh, that's a good angle. But do you think that's cover page material? It's got an educational theme, and she's interviewed people from many age groups for the story. I think it'll attract a lot of readers who don't normally buy our magazine. Good point. Let's put Reiko's headline just below the cover photo. Any ideas for which stories to put on the sides of the center photo? Number 65. According to the woman, what is the topic of this month's issue? Number 66. According to the man, why should Reiko's story be included on the cover? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Where will the title of Reiko's story be?
questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Excuse me, I bought some camping supplies earlier this year, and I was sure the store I bought them from was right here. Well, our store's just been at this location for a couple of months. The one that was here before, Amir's Outdoor Equipment, moved right next door. This shop was just too small for them. Thanks. The owner, Amir, is such a great guy. I can always trust his recommendations. I'm hoping to buy a tent from him today. Well, I know that today is his day off, but his daughter manages the store when he's not there. I'm sure she'll help you find what you're looking for. Number 68. What does the man ask the woman about? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Where does the woman work? Number 70. What does the woman say about Amir? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Dario. I'm calling from Leroy's Cake Shop about the cake you ordered. I'm really sorry, but we've made a mistake. We used the wrong filling for the cake. Instead of blueberries, we put raspberries in it. You have two choices. If you don't mind the different ingredients, we'll give you this cake for free. Or, if you still want the cake with blueberry filling, we'll offer you a 30% discount and bake you a new cake by tomorrow. Please let us know what you decide. Number 71. Where does the caller work? Number 72. What problem does the caller describe? Number 73. What is the listener asked to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. I'd like to introduce our new branch manager, Ms. Susan Lee. One of Ms. Lee's priorities is to secure our position as the leading bank in our community. She hopes to accomplish this by providing affordable loans to local businesses to help them grow. I know you'd all like to find out more. We only have the room until 2 o'clock, but Ms. Lee will be starting work here full-time on Monday, so you can contact her any time after that. Number 74. What is the purpose of the announcement? Number 75. What does Ms. Lee plan to do? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when he says, we only have the room until 2 o'clock. Question 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. As the director of the city's parks department, I'd like to thank all of you for volunteering to plant flowers today here in Bailey's Park. I'd like to point out that the flowers you'll be planting were selected specifically because they are known to attract a lot of butterflies. The Parks Department has provided enough shovels and rakes for everyone, so please grab one and let's get to work. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. 
Number 78. What does the speaker say about butterflies? Number 79. What has been provided for the listeners? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Attention Blackstone Railways passengers. We have just installed a new automated ticketing system. The ticketing machines are located near the main entrance. The touch screens are quick and easy to use when purchasing your train tickets. And for your convenience, instructions on how to use the system are now available in a variety of languages, including English, Spanish, French, and Mandarin. If you need assistance with the ticketing machines, a Blackstone Railways representative can assist you. Number 80. Where most likely is this announcement being made? Number 81. What does the speaker say is now available? Number 82. What is mentioned about the user instructions? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following broadcast. In business news, one of the world's largest manufacturers of aircraft engines, Quickstar, has been contracted to supply engines for the new SW-20 airplane. In order to be able to produce the large number of engines required by the contract, Quickstar is planning to open another manufacturing plant at the beginning of September. The new factory will be located in the city of Laxton. In a press conference earlier this morning, the Mayor of Laxton expressed his enthusiasm for the opening of the facility, asserting that it will bring an estimated 300 skilled jobs to the community. Number 83. What does the business produce? Number 84. According to the speaker, what will the business do in September? Number 85. What does the mayor anticipate will happen in Laxton? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following instructions. We've talked about the minor repairs and upgrades you will be making at the museum. Now, let's turn our attention to the work you'll do monitoring the thermostats in each gallery. Environmental control is extremely important to the museum. If the temperature and humidity are not kept very stable, paintings, books, and sculptures can be damaged. Of course, that's the last thing we want. Now, your work checklists say that you only need to check each thermostat once a shift, but I look at least twice a shift, especially in the summer. You'd be surprised by how quickly things change. Number 86 what type of work are listeners training for? Number 87. What problem is the speaker hoping to avoid? Number 88. What does the speaker imply when she says... I look at least twice a shift. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hi Franklin, it's Alicia. I just took a look at our taxi company's online ratings and the results were pretty disappointing. Customers had complaints about a variety of things but apparently the biggest issue seems to be that our drivers just aren't very friendly. Remember, everyone can see our ratings online, 
If we want to keep our company in the market, we need to address this. So I have an idea. Why don't we start giving a bonus to our taxi drivers who consistently receive high customer ratings? We could select a top-performing employee each month. I think it'd be worth a try. Number eighty-nine. What aspect of the taxi business did most customers comment on? Number ninety. What does the speaker mean when she says, "Everyone can see our ratings online"? Number ninety-one. What does the speaker suggest? Questions ninety-two through ninety-four refer to the following excerpt from a workshop. Welcome to this workshop on developing a business plan. Let's start with a simple explanation of what that is. A business plan is a statement that describes your goals and how you plan to achieve them. A well-written business plan makes a good impression, and this is important for getting financial support from people willing to invest in your company. Now, before we look at some examples of effective business plans, I'd like to go around and have each of you share your prior work experience with the group. Now, who would like to begin? Number ninety-two. What is the topic of the workshop? Number ninety-three. According to the speaker, why is it important to make a good first impression? Number ninety-four. What does the speaker ask members of the group to do? Questions ninety-five through ninety-seven refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hi, Leon. It's Hiroshi. I know you are planning to come with me to the yoga class at the fitness center, but I just checked the website and I see the class is cancelled today. There's another class at the same time, so I'm going to take that one instead. Do you still want to come? And afterwards, I'm meeting a couple of our co-workers at Reynolds Cafe to see a jazz group perform. They're supposed to be excellent. Let me know if you'd like to join us, and I'll make a reservation for you. The group has won several awards, so I expect it'll be crowded. Talk to you later. Number ninety-five. Look at the graphic. Which class does the speaker plan to take? Number ninety-six. Why is the speaker going to Reynolds Cafe? Number ninety-seven. What does the speaker offer to do? Questions ninety-eight through one hundred refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. Now let's go over the sales data for our new dishwashers. After we ran our internet ad campaign in July, we saw an increase in sales in all provinces. However, I think that our best performing market for this dishwasher has even more potential than what we predicted. So I suggest we start direct mail advertising there next week to reach people who might not have seen our ad online. Helen from the marketing department is here to present some information about the mailing campaign. Number ninety-eight. What kind of products does the speaker's company sell? Number ninety-nine. Look at the graphic. In which province will the company begin a direct mail advertising campaign? Number one hundred. 
what will the listeners most likely do next? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording.